Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Gabia, can we have a set and talk to me? You're a colleague of the face as we can make a gain. The link in Lohamata, Monica, the dogs will gain a fish in Jamaris, starting from the politician in the way at the same link, the same link, you're a face big gain. Connected in your feet as said, Lohamata, and I said, said Bukula, that I had a woman, you better see Gambia feed and have a plus, the plus more than Monica, Tita. So we hate it. I'm so big. I'm here. I'm in Harare. So they have a farm on the Katita. Now we're telling them on the Katita. And your Katita and plus one hundred and more. One hundred and plus. We buy Mashallah. Now when you ask, ah, figure soon be na star. We have one hundred and more. One hundred and more. The most star of our golden voice. Ah, we have one hundred and more. 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 Amin belik nak aku bayar mungkin tu kasih watan berik mungkin mereka maha maha assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam sis. Nengen the greetings to everybody watching the show right now. Like she just said, this is Maria. Maha, ni beri ada ni tiga satu way. Kita hamil kamu ni kamu maha. Ada mungkin orang nak introduce apa sah. Asal bawa dengan his audience ni hamil tu. Ni last itu ni mula hamil kamu ni kamu maha. Maha fanas day. Well, Mahali is originally born in Lati Kuna, German. Yellow Talindim. Um, the real name is Mohammed. Started music back in 2010. 2014, I dropped some of Force mixtape project. 2017, I did a EP project called Ways and Means. The um, first project was called Stress and Pain, which is a mixtape. Second project became as an EP called Ways and Means. And then 2022, we give them an album called Fade. So, in short, that's my idea right here. Kung naman ang kawaii sa isa da big na rek, kawaii ka muha. Dalaw ni yung man ng mga funya kara ng four of day ne. Hindi nga, dahil ham na like dapat ang asyo yung bari yung ham na dalaw ni kor. Wala muha lagi ah, hindi nga yung bari hindi wala muha time bobo dapat dapat operasi wala yung muha dapat nobi. Kendo ko di di nga, kendo di di nga afer music ame. Lul na kala dapat da. Um, I won't be able to say much on that because. Maha is still the same. Maha he was always, you know, Mange record still, Mange drop sounds, and then I'm going to events as well. So um, it's like a system change, like, you know, Halei Magdalene Lady, and then, you know, uh, the type of vibe when you're left. Um, then then the Ega stage where I'm, we feel like it should be more mature than, you know, Lunega, the farm growth. You know, even half the areas in what I know. So, again, in stage, we have a dream for a lot of people talking about us and all that, which is all this clash and all this thing. And then we feel the magnola, so we need to focus more on educating, entertaining, and you know, entertaining the masses at the same time, not just you know, creating noise and making people follow through. <laughs> system change, yeah, change come and go here. Uh, everything is uh, state by state. Mm -hmm. So I have been in state, uh, it like it will be different, like uh, where you started and where you passed. So now I'm a Nyana Songa record right now, starting from uh, since at the beginning to now. Up to the day, yeah, it's going uncountable. I, I definitely lost count, yeah. but but you know, mm -hmm. like really, because um. I can only keep count of the projects. Okay. Um, next day there was 14 tracks. And then I have the EP with 10 tracks. And then I came and have an album of 14 tracks again. Okay. Different from single tracks, you would on Guinea along the way. Become mm -hmm. a, you know, so it became a lot of songs. And so, we still have a lot more recorded record again. Yeah, okay. So mm -hmm. I lost count. Okay. exactly Nangami tracks are recorded. Uh, so that means like it is, uh, I can't say, it is many. A whole so lot. Yeah, you cannot even count it all. A whole lot. Okay, uh, <laughs> so when you come to like, the set of your music, uh, what kind of music you normally do? Well, um, people know me more of reggae and dance art. Reggae. Mm -hmm. Yes, mom la de focus on, but I do hip hop, mm -hmm. I do rap mbala. Like I'm a I'm a flexible musician. I do any type of vibe that I feel like I wanna do. 
So, um, kalau masuk mau bawa pasi bena zan, walak naya, walak artis lah, walak dance lah, artis lah, lu walak lah. So, ada uh, family yang call like you, uh, you are not on one side. So, no. you 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 do that. I'm a musician. Okay. Whatever I feel to do, I do it. Play the beat or rhythm, I feel like okay, this is something that I feel and I can create something on it. I do it. So when you come to like uh, in the uh, music industry side in the Gambia here right now, uh, many people are talking about more difficulty and the challenges they are facing when you come to music side because it started from the promoter to come to the artist and challenges are between them. And for you, uh, what can you tell us like when you come to those kind of challenges? Well, music is challenge. Music like. You, you cannot do music like uh, in your whole career and uh, you don't go through challenges and difficulties and obstacles. But we all take them as, for me personally, I take them as, a, um, experience, as an experience and then learn from them and proceed on what I do. Definitely there are difficulties all over and from promotions to whatever you might call it. Um, it's not easy, especially when it comes to the financial aspect of the vibe, because music finance more common, you know. So there are certain times you come to a stage where you have a lot of things to do, you have a lot of ideas in your head, you have different things that you want to push out there, but the financial support is not there to you know bring it to life. So this is. This is something that we've been facing for a while, but we give thanks. It doesn't stop us from doing okay. what we do. So it means like uh, some of the artists, they have experience, they have like, you know, like they have the spirit to do so many things, but the thing is like uh, the financial is like the support. They need the support. Definitely. So can you, uh, which year did you have your first launching? That was 2017. 2017. 2017. Mm -hmm. where? No, sorry. 2014 was my first project. Okay. Um, back in um, Alliance Franco, which Alliance was my first okay. mixtape called Stress and Pain. Okay. That was in 2014. Since that, uh, do you have any collab with any artists like in the Gambia or foreign artists outside? Um, I've been doing collaborations, but it's more of outside. Okay. Yeah. Gambia here, I did a song with. Um, Trouble Smalls, I've did a song with um, Silky Chris. Okay. I've did a song with Papa Lenti. Um, who else again? There are a couple of collabs that I do in town here, and then um, when the album came, I have a collaboration with Rebellion the Recaller, you know, Gambian based in Germany. I have another collaboration with a Jamaican artist called Naptali. Okay. And another female Jamaican artist yeah. called Radiance as well. You know, so we, these are all collaborations that we did along the way. So, uh, have you have any collaboration like when it comes to Gambian uh, artists as well? Yeah, like SD, Jisul, you have uh, Baibabu and others like that? Well, not SD, but I had a song with Jisul and A2. A2. Yeah, long ago I invited them on a track and then. The song is out there doing great, you know. Okay. I don't have a song with SD, okay. but I do have a song with Bye Bye. Um I think we did two tracks. Two tracks, yeah, okay. Long ago. Okay. So you said that you were at the, at the program, you said no, Benjamin? No, I couldn't make it. You couldn't make it? Because I had a okay. studio session, you know, okay. so all night I've been in the studio. So, like when you come to the uh, Gambia music uh, industry right now here, we are seeing that like a lot of uh, young people are willing to be like artists, but the things they are seeing uh, mostly is like uh, it is very difficult, you know, challenges, you know, you know, when you come to like the promoting side and you know, sponsor like the way you see. How do you see Gambia music industry going on right now in the Gambia? Well, that's a tough one because everybody have your own pace and everybody, you know, is seeing him or herself in a, in the vibe in a different way. So um, for the upcoming ones facing difficulties and all that, it's part of the struggle. Yeah. You know, it's it's that's how it's supposed to be. There are 
times that you go through things to give you more experience and understanding of exactly what you're doing. Because sometimes, I don't believe me, a lot of them will just jump into it without even knowing exactly what you're going in for. You just see people doing bike, you see them driving cars and doing stuff, making whatever from them. And you don't know exactly what is in there yet, so you just came and jump into it. So obviously you, you will be facing a lot of things that perhaps even those people don't come across. But you need to do your research, you need to know exactly what you're going in for. But the music is about Lumo Lach. Put gathered together before calling yourself that, you know, artist or whatsoever. And then surely, yeah, so what's that you're going to get it? Sure. Uh, okay, true that, like, you're not going to say Gambia music industry, you're not going to need to do it right now. Because then it's not like uh, artists, you know, you said, and they want to be, you know, the social media, like that, something like that. So, how many of you are then humble to do it? Because, yeah, I don't see music with that. And how many of you then I have music be uh in music industry time uh, right now. No one can do many. And before, what kind of different do you see? And what can you share people like when you come to the music industry right now? There is not much difference because we can see people coming out and supporting the thing more like than before. Then we 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 are all struggling to even have fans come to our shows, you know. Okay. But nowadays you can see you get face out everywhere. Anytime you call out, they come out and then do their thing. You know, and a couple of sponsors are coming in as well. People, individuals and companies. You get to send laws again. But then it's on one side, you know. So one needs to really, really, really know where you're heading and what you want, like I just said previously. The game is moving. Mm -hmm. It's different from the melon. Nobody won't say they come I'm changes what I guess for progress. Of course there is progress in it. You know? So um, the classes that you were saying on the internet and all that's a music level. It's part of the vibe. It's it's what makes the vibes their life. Because they were certain fans you have there, they they are only about controversies. If you were so if you on the land, just song in love or whatsoever all year long, do not they don't even want to listen to you. But whenever you bring something controversial, they do sangam nangam like everybody jumps and wanna to listen to it. So if they get to see the okay, you know, the negative things that we do, more negative concentrate low people be in what we do. So it, it means like uh come like then they then then they will go the law how the moment they pull out that uh, everybody will start concentrating yeah. to take people attention. Yeah. So for your music side, uh, for you uh, start you, you started two thousand and ten. Uh before starting the music, uh kind of kind of wanna like uh, this guy will be my role model or this guy will be follow up. Well I always look up to Rebellion the recaller. Okay. Knowing that um, I see myself in his vibe. Okay. Because Judith Love, Bale, Dafa, Fessel Lulu, see song, some, you know, some music. Um, and it made me believe that yeah, I can be a Muslim and still preach my religion in this vibe. Not just Newa, or come, Kuneka Rasta, like Mamuna, the Reggae, or Kuneka in the Rastafarian religion or whatsoever. So looking up to him, get me going, you know, and then it get me stronger and it get me believing in what I do more, you know, and yeah, definitely he's my role model. So right now, do you have anything like, when you come to the music side, your record, your concert, are you preparing something? Mm, right now, not really, but you know, I'm doing this stuff, we're always working. Um, I have like two albums that I recorded mm -hmm. already. As demo albums, you have many. They are not mixed and mastered yet. I'm still looking forward to producers to work with, you know, because if I'm certain songs, you have then if they are producer, you must even have a good job at new, you know. I'm tracks, you have many. I can give it to any producer. So I've been doing my thing, and there are albums coming, there are EPs coming as well, inshallah. But didn't disclose anything about that unless and until Munyor. Mm -hmm. Inshallah, uh, Mahal, I still now like uh, 
uh, what I want to know from you, like it is, since you started uh, the music career since 2010 to now, that is your role. Are you having a manager? Managers, I've came across a couple of them. Okay. But right now, at the moment, I'm working a lot again. Okay, so uh, through that, uh, do you have a young people who know that they are? Like let's say they are part of your fans club and telling you that I want to be an artist and to monitor it. like to be mentoring that. Of course, not just on in my fans club, but I come across a lot of kids. You have many, you know, they in for the vibe. They really love it. They want to do it, and then they seek advice. Time to time, then they call. Then you know, we share ideas. We sit down and vibe together, and then. I tell them whatever I know about the vibe. Uh, when you come to like that in your music side, uh, uh, what kind of music you normally sing? It is is it like when it comes to like female side or like it's your society or something like that? You know, some music have their like Well, I have different inspirations from different things. Okay. Looking back in my album, you will see that I have songs about. Song, a song that talk about Jigen, okay. which is generally for all women and you know, their importance in the society. I have a song for the kids called Halela, mm -hmm. you know, in the same, same way in the album, talking about how we need to take care of them, how we need to look after them, and then you know, put them on the right track. Um, I'm all about the society. society. I'm all about experience and things that we go going through, things that we see in like. The natural things that we're going through and seeing around us. This is exactly what I, you know, get inspired from and then turn it into songs and give it back to them. My vibe is always from you people. You know, I look into my community, the gardening, the hagnum, and then, you know, whatever I see, it's really necessary to, to bring back into vibe and put out there. I'm going to give this and law polish cup into a good song and give it back to you. So, uh, do you, uh, can you give us like some of like you know, some of uh, the free styles here? Because I know most of them are looking to and they want to say, uh, you know, like you say, vibes. <laughs> give us some sort of free styles. Yeah? I know my camera, my, my, my camera man is ready. <laughs> see him, would you give it? Nah. Yeah, I'm freestyle, but then um, what topic do you want to freestyle on? Uh, they should like you. Uh, I should say like you say uh, your music. Like you look at the society, what is really going on in the society. You bring it on vibes. So you talk about also like when you come to uh, the female side and you know the children, something like that. So can you give us some you know some free dance, free stance when you come to those sides? You know, including your music. I can. Now let me just to specif specify it. Okay. Um, I'll give you a bit of a freestyle on Jigen. Jigen, okay. I'll give you a bit of a freestyle on Hadela, okay. which are really important and the songs that I'm really looking forward to push harder out there because live and make the farm sort of and I know that the society will definitely, you know, fall in love with it more if they if it gets to the right stage, you know. So, um, we start with you again, yeah? Okay. Ready? <laughs> it was like, Nala lerne ya figen, yo mi jigen, Nala lerne ya figen, la budun wana gyo funo jem, Nala lerne ya figen, ya imbori, yo mi jigen. Yo, me, Jigen, oh, in a letter, ne, ya, figen. 
Now, go do the one that you have for no gym. You know, something like that for the women out there. Well, wow. it's a nice and, shot. Yeah, man. Um, and it's in the album right now. Okay. Um, you can you can go out there and check on it. Um, it's on every digital platform out there. And it goes on um, Spotify. You know, these uh, Apple music. It's everywhere. So, to all the women out there, you know, then, Get used to the song, spread it out there because you're not going to get back with it. You know, um, we come to Hagala, you know, mm -hmm. we give you something for the kids. We go by and continue like a Sibetan and freestyle with that. Yes, we give this to the kids in Japan and Jagger for Hagala, you know, out there in the street. And it's like. I want to love my child. Some people will be like, ah, bro, boy, then they worry to a boy. But I worry you, we only something that we just have fun with them. Come on, you bring me a negative for. You bring me a negative, you know, death, lulane, come on, lulane, just to get famous or whatever. Man, I don't believe in that. They can do it, they can do whatever they feel like, they're more than negative, your heart is more than negative, your need. But man, I want to sing about things that will benefit people. 
not just to be foolish and be crazy like everybody to to have those followers or whatsoever. Yeah. So they're low like that. So it makes low like that. I won't be having any followers because man, I believe in my vibe as a you know a message that I'm carrying out to to the people out there, and it shouldn't be you know something negative or something foolish. You know, so the, 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 the whole the list what I have, the whole what I carry, a message, yeah. and it have to make sense. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah, I'm thinking about all of them. About dom sister, oh, Sunya, oh, and then perhaps young, I'm, I'm a dom, I'm a Muslim, and you are not treating the person right. It's in the third verse. It's telling you that. So could you rule such a big dom? Jungle Congo, Fehel, Mo, I'm Jom. Mui dom mi jid lemba jirim dah elek hamo kimu nara dom kunanga hamne duga wafate halal malaika la yalo gur beki koi arde chile pulu mui duga. So be very careful of the person that you have with you because they halal but elek mui magi. Well, can can you halal mui magi elek wa? He or she is gonna become. Mm -hmm. So we really need to take care of them like our own. This is the message in that song. Yeah, so I mean like, uh, so anyway, music side right now, uh, what kind of uh, advice do you have for young people to who are, you know, you have dinner right now, you get job, you buy then drop out. Uh, when for some advice, I am uh, young people, you have dinner like, uh, then you go to the uh, music, you really come to the music side, but you buy then they want to like, you don't go to school, because I don't you buy then they're suicide, I don't want to get out of here, like they need rap, you need need if I upload video, you don't want they need them to school. Send fire, send family, they need to get divorced. Send parents, they need to get divorced. They need it. I'm not like music. We don't wanna, don't wanna get music. We ask you, ask your career. Why you don't go school? Now, 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 Figure out this one, and then yeah, I left them at school. Why the person is talented, and then you know that they inspire in a lot of things, and he's he or she is doing great with the music that he's doing. But German will never tell us for him for him then right now. That's very rare. Education first yeah. before anything else, yeah. especially artists you have then and you also English never go away. So Afro beats English never go away. So so reggae is English never go away. Or so hip hop is English never go away. It will be very difficult putting up in the lyrics. It will be very difficult putting up even you know, words. pronounce words properly. So uh, my advice would be go to school first, brothers and sisters. Like um, education first before anything else. So they may be young, be watcher, and so come follow your education to university degree or whatever level you can go to, and you know. Get yourself prepared for the journey, because music journey life is a very long journey. Like I said in the beginning, some can be in it for like a year or less than a year. You come as a basic success, whatsoever, depending on what they call success. And some might be there in decades without seeing any progress in like certain things. Like you will be progressing in what you do musically and all that, but financially and some parts of the vibe that makes people think that you are successful, you have to then you one dollar at the same time. So if you are not strong enough, you will not continue with that. You might end up quitting to do something else. So yeah, we are school so you are in your school background, you found that it's a school. I I started um in Talindin. Went to that you comprehensive. That's where I completed from seven to twelve. Grade one, bed, 
grade 6 slide of Telemann Primary. Then we went now to pipeline comprehensive back then a moment ago. Then we moved sweet to the EU comprehensive here for the benefit. Okay. So uh, apart from music uh, side though, do you have any work at Soto? Yeah, yeah, I'm a businessman. I do business and I have my little studio, my home here, and I record. Um, normally I edit videos as well. I was working with Idealist Media as an editor. So where are we? Studio mom is in here, in my room. Um, normally I have voiceovers, normally I have advertisements, and I normally record myself on it as well and then push through. So these are things that I do along the way and then whenever I have a contract on editing, I take and do. Uh, do you expect any guests outside the country that is coming here for us for Vision Do you would have to have a club or something like that? No, not really. Okay. So so, uh, I am saying thanks to you for coming out here you know, having this interview. Thanks to the whole team, to our the Sun TV. And you know, they were fancy here in the Lenin, something in the Lenin, we are really glad to have them behind us and supporting us in what we do from the beginning to the day. You know. And then one uh, let them look forward to more projects coming up, inshallah. Yes, Mahadi Amma is here and we will forever be here for you people. Whatever I can do to keep you guys you know, entertained and entertained. Inshallah, we'll be giving it to the people, you know, and they were highly out there and then jump, go, 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 you know, um, dedication towards what you do is the key to success in this life. So just keep doing what you're doing, believe in yourself. Um, keep striving, keep your focus. If you're going to school, keep the education tight, read more books, do more research on your vibe, get to know exactly what you want, and then go for it. Nothing can stop you, inshallah. Friday, I'm 2023, coming up with a different life, different projects. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mahadi Hamal. You know, Kodi Devi Sasu Negarek at Tra TV, Latur Alazan TV, Life and Direct. Always subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, any Instagram, TikTok, Tra TV, Latur Alazan TV. For the kind of time we have here, Tra TV. Thank you so much for the coming. My main cameraman, Alazan Abba. And once again, my name is Fat Kurubali. Till next time, thank you so.